Hello everyone and welcome back to the Milk and Morning Show. My name is Talia. I'm Arielle. And I'm Sasha. We hope you all had an amazing week of half days. And to all the teachers, thank you for talking to our parents. We know how fun that is. This week brings a number of holidays. Thanksgiving, obviously, and Hanukkah starts Sunday night. But before we start celebrating Thanksgiving Milk and Morning Show style, we want to talk about another holiday marking an important event that happened almost 74 years ago. On November 29th, 1947, the United Nations voted in favor of Resolution 181, which adopted the plan for the partition of Israel. Palestine was then divided into a Jewish state and an Arab state, giving us the land of Israel. Let's listen to what Mr. Meyerson has to add. Hi everybody, I'm here with Mr. Meyerson. Hello. <laughs> um, today we're going to be discussing the holiday that is on November 29th. So Mr. Meyerson, if you want to tell us a little bit about it, we'd love to hear it. Less than a holiday, it's a day that's worth marking. It's the 29th of November. In Hebrew, it's called Kaftet for November. It is the day that the United Nations voted to partition Palestine into a Jewish state and an Arab state. And it happened in 1947, and it's the international act that created what became the state of Israel. Wow, that's amazing. What can we do to celebrate it and to you know, come together as a community in order to honor that day? I think it's just worth noting that this is this historically significant day. We have Yom Mood, Israeli Independence Day in the spring that of course we'll celebrate as a community with lots of fun and engaging uh, activities. Um, but it's worth noting and uh, paying attention to. Wow, that sounds amazing. Thank you so much for letting me interview you. My pleasure. Thank you for that interesting look back on Israeli history. Now it's time to get hyped for Thanksgiving. Sasha, what are your favorite Thanksgiving traditions? Well, every year, my family and I go to my grandmother's house, choose the family member we're most thankful for, and throw them into the pool. What about you, Ariel? My favorite Thanksgiving tradition has to be writing notes of gratitude to family and friends. Now, let's hear from some Milken students and faculty about their favorite Thanksgiving foods. Hey, Rotown, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? I'm a big fan of mashed potatoes and gravy. High five. Don't forget to tell your family, friends, and teachers, definitely after those conferences, that you are grateful for them. And that concludes today's show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week for a special Hanukkah episode of the Milk and Morning Show. Bye!